Today's adventure begins at Tights Inn Motel. Neat and Queen Room's best rate. Where I am currently having another staycation before uh, the winter semester starts next week. And later I'll be uh, showing my room. But right now, I need to head to uh, Argyle Mall to buy some stuff. Welcome everyone, it's Awen James here and thank you for tuning back in to another episode of AJ's Guide Cosmos and Beyond. Cosmos and Beyond. Today is day one of my staycation. I will, uh, it starts uh, December 30 until uh, January 2. I'm just gonna last minute unwind, you know, decompress again before uh, school kicks in uh, next week and it will be uh, tough in the next semester. But you know, I brought my uh, work here. I'm finishing my Ubisoft uh, entry and I'm excited because uh, the progress has been nice. So right now, as I mentioned earlier, I'm heading to Argyle Mall, Argyle Mall which is just a 10 to 8 to 10 minute walk for me. And then later, I guess I'll be uh, showing you around my room. Let's just see how the day uh, progresses. As of the recording of this, it is uh, December 30, 2023. Just a few days before the new before 2024 kicks in and uh, I'm excited and it, right now the temperature has significantly dropped it is beginning to snow so go ahead and grab your curiosity puzzles as you embark with me in another ocean of adventure Nights in Motel is located along Dundas Street There it is. And just beside it, across it is a uh, sports hub players bar and grill. Argyle Mall is straight ahead. Ah, it's nice to know that there's also some uh, Team Hortons nearby. Just a minute or a two minute walk from our from a Nights Inn Motel. There's a gas station. Haven't been in this uh, neck of the woods, so uh, let us well uh, explore it. Of course, later I'm gonna feature uh, Argyle Mall as well, and I'm gonna do a little uh, review of a certain uh, item that I purchased. home hardware on the other side and there's still some uh, Christmas decors on the lamppost okay the snow has started and I think tomorrow December 31 is, it is technically a uh, well, technically uh, winter here in Canada yep it starts on December 31st New Year's there's also a Starbucks along the way to Argyle Mall. Yep, I think Argyle Mall is already there. And I finally see it. Argyle Mall. But we need to stop because there's a stop sign. Okay, so I finally crossed. So this is Argyle Mall, this area. Quite a lot of establishments. There's no frills, which, which also has uh, also has a low prices on their uh, goods and then uh, Walmart, Dollar Tree and then there's a Burger King, CIBC Bank and then over there there's McDonald's but I had enough of McDonald's during my uh, earlier uh, staycation uh, a few days ago I already completed the uh, adult happy meal and I, I quick rented McDonald's a lot so oh there's also Bulk Barn that's good in the other side and then there's Popeyes and over there I can see Dalarama which is quite a, a few minutes walk so I just walked from uh, Nights in Motel to Argyle Mall for about uh, 8 minutes because I have a big uh, stride so okay I'm now just gonna buy some oh there's also like a Toys R Us Babies R Us oh wow amazing alright the temperature and it's currently zero degrees 
So I'm now heading to No Fields. This is my first time to visit No Fields. I haven't been there yet. And I heard that uh, they also have like uh, even uh, cheaper uh, prices than uh, Walmart. Okay, I'm about to check it out. Finally inside the uh, No Frills. It's quite a huge selection as well. Similar to Walmart, Fresco. You can't beat free. Mm -hmm. Just gonna buy some chips for my movie tonight. I mean, in my motel room. Just gonna enjoy the evening there. Alright, so I just purchased uh, some chips at uh, No Frills, chips and uh, peanuts. Uh, and now I'm headed to a uh, Walmart to buy some juice. And uh, I think the water is, might be cheaper at Walmart compared to No Frills. So I'm headed to Walmart. Entering Walmart now, London Argyle. Okay, looks like this is the only thing that I'm gonna be buying here. Orange juice. Heading back to No Frills because the water is cheaper there. So I'm gonna check the toy section before I pay this. Mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah, it's a typical toy section. There's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. G.I. Joe's. Matchbox. We have some wrestling here. WWE and AEW. Marvel. I just came back here at uh, No Frills to buy this uh, Ice River Green Bottle Distilled Water. Four liters for only a dollar and twenty-nine cents. Very cheap. Okay, just across Argyle Mall is this uh, unique uh, supplements shop called Popeyes. Not to be uh, mistaken with the Popeyes, uh, you know, chicken restaurant, fried chicken. They sell supplements apparently. They're using Popeye's help. <coughs> oh, they're already close. 11 to 5. Popeye with a baseball bat, with a hockey stick, with a basketball, with a golf, with a soccer, and with a football. Amazing. Complete. The supplement shop. Heading back to my room now. And it's finally. Okay, there's the queen size bed, my Cintiq, and my MSI laptop. Gaming laptop for work for my project. There's a lamp shade over there. And then there's this TV. There's a hanger section over here. Heater, ref, microwave. It's already 5:47. There's a phone. And there's a mirror. Okay. Oh yes, there's a painting on the wall. And the bathroom. Simple but effective. Definitely bigger than the uh, than the days in hotel. There's a sink, soap, other mirror. Yep. And also before I end this video, the short and sweet video vlog, I would just like to make a product review of an item that I recently bought over the holidays, last Christmas, for myself. A little bit of an investment. 
This is the Dungeons, Dungeons and Dragons backpack from Heroes and Villains shop in the United States. Got it uh, delivered here in Canada. Around the quite a pricey tag, but uh, it's worth it. So I like the color scheme. Here's some uh, leather elements as well here on the side pockets so there are two side pockets as well I'm sorry to put your stuff and then it can house a uh... now the laptop that I have here is 15 inches which fits perfectly however at home I also have which I didn't bring obviously is the uh, 18 inch Acer Predator that can also fit inside and it has a uh, compartment here for your glasses and then the, the front pocket I like the design like this a uh, pattern like a star and it also has like a mount on Dungeons and Dragons dice tray you know when you roll you just need to like uh, put this together And voila, you can now roll here in this area. But your your dice wouldn't go crazy when you roll outside, you know. You need a dice tray when you play Dungeons and Dragons. Otherwise, when you just roll on the table, it might go anywhere. It's unpredictable. And it, you can also put your uh, minis, Dungeons and Dragons minis here and dice if you want. There are like the nine areas here for you to place any of your minis and Dungeons and Dragons paraphernalia and the cool thing is okay there's also like a strap here at the bottom and yeah there are clips clip belt on the sides as well don't know for what purpose but it's cool and then at the bottom there's also like a rain protector. You can cover your bag with this. So overall, it's a nice product. It can uh, house my uh, laptops, my laptop, my Acer Predator, which is, which is 18 inches. And this laptop, when I travel around in the Syntec Very nice and I, I'm also playing Dungeons and Dragons, so I'm a big fan of the game And I like I really like the color scheme very very 80s Yeah, that's it I Would recommend you guys to buy it to buy this product if ever The heroes and villains Dungeons and Dragons backpack And that's gonna do it for today thank you for watching from the parking lot of uh, nights in motel if you like this particular episode please give it a big thumbs up and please don't forget to sub subscribe to the channel as well it is zero degrees and it will snow later it is snowing currently a little there's some little uh, drops from the heaven yeah you can see that i'll see you again in the next episode another time yeah it's snowing already another place